Exodus 39 begins, the craftsmen made beautiful sacred garments of blue, purple, and scarlet cloth, clothing for Aaron to wear while he ministered in the holy place, just as the Lord commanded. At first glance, chapter 39 looks like a repeat of Exodus 28, but in actuality, it's the fulfillment of it. In chapter 28, we saw the Lord giving specific instructions to Moses concerning the priestly garments. And today, we see the skilled craftsmen putting these garments together, just as the Lord commanded. And in verse 32, after all the work was done, we read, And so at last the tabernacle was finished. The Israelites had done everything just as the Lord commanded Moses, and they brought the entire tabernacle to Moses. Later we find out the reason for this. Moses inspected the work that was done. And it reminded me of something we say frequently here at Coastline. You can't expect what you don't inspect. If you really want to see something done well, inspection is a natural part of the process. So Moses, realizing the importance of the task, inspects the work. And verse 42 tells us, Moses inspected the work and saw that they had done it just as the Lord commanded. And listen, this is important. So Moses blessed them. And here's what I hope you'll take away from today's reading. I believe Moses had complete confidence in the team he'd put together. He knew their hearts, their superior skill levels, and their commitment to the task at hand. So he inspects the work for the very same reason the Lord inspects our work at times. He wants the work to pass inspection and the workers to receive the blessing of a job well done. So the next time God gives you something to do or allows a time of testing in your life, give it everything you've got. And remember this, God's desire is that you ace the test, that you pass inspection. He wants to bless you for a job well done.